this time on the Moby Duck. Leaving the marina, I guess it might get a little hairy on the way back. There was a few other dive boats that were gonna come out. They decided to bail, but not us. Nope. If it ain't blowing, we ain't going. You gotta do what you gotta do out here sometimes. You want some bucks, you need to get them ducks. Yeah, you don't want to get banged. <laughs> and you're free real quick. We got the numbers right here. What's up, guys? Welcome back. We're out here in Port Ledlow today. Uh, Operation Canal Mop Up. Yep. What day four. Is it day four or is it day three? Yeah, it is day four. Yep. I guess it's day three this week, but yep, day four of Operation Hook Canal Mop Up. Uh, Jeremy's opted out to. He's not diving today, uh, so it's just going to be me. I'm going to try mopping up my pounds. I got like 350 pounds left. Jeremy's going to mop up his in March when it gets a little warmer out. And then, uh, yeah, before we get into today's video, make sure you guys go to uh, mobyduckchowder.com. All you got to do is go there. The, the site's not live yet, but you can uh, enter your email. Make sure you guys stay notified when we launch because we're going to be launching some chowder here and uh, some merch and it's gonna be super limited. Like this stuff's gonna be very limited in the beginning. So if you guys really wanna stay on top, make sure you go there and sign up. So all the clams and the uh, chowder that we make is gonna be all from the gooey duck that we catch. So no one else's, just ours. So it makes them a little more personal, huh, Jay? Yeah, it does. It's pretty cool. You guys can eat what we we're digging up out here. So that's kind of cool. Go to mobyduckchowder.com and sign up. We're gonna get going. We decided to start a little bit later today to let the sun come out but it seems like it's a little bit windy, huh? Yeah, it says 17.20 on the forecast. Does it? Yep. Huh. All right, um, but yeah, after today, we're gonna run the boat back to PA, get out of here, and uh, we're gonna start doing some, uh, might be, might get into uh, sea, urchin. sea urchins in the next few weeks here. Maybe, I don't know yet. Probably, maybe. New war zone came out. So. Yeah, new war zone came out, so we kind of want to play that and for a couple months yeah for a couple months and not have to wake up early and <laughs> stay up late kind of deal all right we're gonna get to work <laughs> Just anchored out. It was a little rough on the way out. There was a few other dive boats that were gonna come out, but they decided to bail. But not us. Nope. If it ain't blowing. We ain't going. Exactly. So uh, yeah, we're diving real deep today, 80 feet. We're gonna stop screwing around and yeah, I gotta jump down there and uh, go down to 90 because that's where they're showing. Sucks, but you gotta do what you gotta do out here sometimes. You want some bucks, you need to get them ducks. <laughs> yeah, oh yeah. <laughs> So yeah, I'm gonna get suited up and uh, hop down there. And uh, but I got 350 pounds, 336 pounds or something like that. I got to get. I should be able to do it in two jumps. Let's do it. <laughs> Want to get some pounds? Got to do your rounds. Yeah. <laughs> Yeah. 
Those will make for some good Moby Duck chatter right there if you ask me. I just got done banding Jason's first bag. First jump is gonna go back down, but probably got 200 pounds. Still only needs another two crates probably, so. Yeah. There it goes, as we speak. That's it, as we speak. There he is back there. Just one more jump for J-Dog and then we'll uh, call it a season. I think I got my pounds out everywhere after that. So, we'll start working on Jeremy's. Check the clock right quick. See if it's been almost uh, 54 minutes since my last jump. It's good to come up from a dive and decompress for at least an hour. So I'm gonna get ready to hop down there and it should be, should only need around two crates, a little over two crates. Then that's just, that's gonna finish up the whole operation. Could canal mop up or whatever. Right, Jeremy? Yep. Okay. Super calm out here now. Other boats bailed because this is going to be too windy. <laughs> it's flat calm out here. It's probably the nicest day of the week so far. Pull the slack, drop the bag line. Looks like he got the ducks that he needed to finish up his, uh, his pounds in the canal. So, I'm gonna do that. Jason's got the two and a half crates he needs to finish out his duck for the season. Let's go. I'm gonna hide a crate from Jason so he doesn't think he has his pound. It's about 60 pounds, so it's got five crates. So it's about 300 pounds. So he'll think he'll need like another 30, 40 pounds. And he's got it, but I hit it under the deck, under the deck like you just seen. So he's gonna be pretty bummed. Just a lot. Wrap on ram. Should be pretty close on. How much did you need? 330 or something. That's the old wrap. Should be pretty close. I had didn't have barely any time down there. 97 feet. See? He was going to do it. Yep. 97 feet. Uh, I have like 20 minutes, 25 minutes down there. And then it takes me a good 15 minutes just to climb. Yeah. Climb up to the top, get back to the boat. So you don't get all bent out. Yeah, you don't want to get bent. <laughs> That'll end your career real quick. Five crates, should be around three. I have like 330, 336. Somewhere around there is what I need to get. So, probably won't get it, but be pretty close. <laughs> <laughs> Be pretty close, guys. It's gonna go back to all over there. Yeah, right here. Hold on. Turn it off. I'll just turn it off. Down. Down. Okay. Oh. <laughs> what? <laughs> Hell yeah. <laughs> Jeremy pranked me. <laughs> I was hella bummed. It's like, damn, I didn't get it. But I got it for sure now, boys. I was like, damn, how did I not get it? <laughs> ah. Goofed. Yup. What a goofball Jeremy is. So we got her, boys. 
that's a wrap on Jason's season right there. Got all my pounds. Come back when there's a price spike. Yep. Next next price price spike. We'll be out. Get Jeremy's stuff. Jeremy goofed me. So uh, I thought I had five crates, but I had a little over five, so I should have my pounds. Jeremy's just pulling in the hose right now. And uh, yeah, after he gets that pulled in, we're gonna weigh out and see if I got it. Let me check my uh, phone real quick and see exactly the poundage I need. Make things a little more interesting. I need 300, 332 pounds is what I need. Should be no problem. All right, let's weigh out. White feather, Moby Duck, you pick me up. Yeah, we're ready to weigh out. Jason six. Just got the numbers weighed out. I need 332 pounds. Let's see what we got. Do a drum roll, Jeremy. Yep. Do I need to do the math? Do a drum roll. Do I need to do the math? The math on what? Oh, it did. Yeah, the all together. Yeah. Yeah. So, we got the numbers right here. I need 332 pounds. And I got. So I got it. Five pounds over. Overachiever. Yeah. That's all that is. So, yep, that's a wrap on my pounds. If you believe it, you can overachieve it. Exactly. Ha <laughs> I'm gonna go unload these ducks and then we're gonna, I'm gonna drive the boat back to Port Angeles. So it's gonna be a little bit longer of a day. Oh, yeah. Just showed up here at the marina, gonna unload these ducks, drop off Jeremy, and then, uh, yeah, I'm gonna head back to PA. It's about an hour and a half, two hour trip. Leaving the marina, I guess it might get a little hairy on the way back. Looks like we're uh, expecting a westerly wind. So hopefully it's not too crazy, and I can make it to PA. I'll see you guys in PA, I'm gonna do a little time lapse for you. So it's only gonna be about 10 seconds for you, but about two hours for me. <laughs> That's a pretty good deal if you ask me. All right, I'll see you in PA. All right, guys. Made it back to Port Angeles. It was pretty bumpy out there. I don't know if you could tell from the footage, but I just washed down the boat, gave her a good old wash, because I'm sure it's got a lot of salt on it. Yeah, if you guys are enjoying these videos, make sure you give it a like. Also comment below if there's anything you want to see. I'm trying to get as much footage as I can uh, and like staying safe at the same time. I noticed that we're starting to miss a few steps because we're focused on filming so much, but we just got to get in the groove of things and get a just to get a little system down with filming. So I hope we're doing a good job with that. Just let us know if there's anything else you want to see. But uh, yeah, we'll get her down and just make sure everything's safe and we don't want to miss any steps and end up something bad happening out here because we're foc focusing so much on filming. But uh, yeah, we'll figure it all out. If you guys enjoyed, give this video a like and we'll uh, see you next week. Bye.